Hey guys, we're still talking to the crazy man. We're trading stuff. Oh yes. I still have the acorn and that old book, oh yes. Book. I want to trade for the book. And what do you have to trade for the book? How about some gold coin? Coin? <laughs> what possible use could I have with coin? Do you see a money changer about? Yes, he's right behind you. Now, um... I don't know if I want to change... Give in the silver ring, because I'm not sure if that's an item that I need to keep. <laughs> well, that's your business then, isn't it? I still answered your question, and now it's my turn again. I should go. Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah. That guy is weird. Oh, you had the ancient elven helmet. Cool. It's a medium helmet too. Equip studded. It's a medium. Um, I think so, because I mean, she can also have the ancient elven boots, which are better than what she has. And it improves trap detection, so. It's more like a scout's armor anyway, so Liliana's kind of a scout anyways. So. Anyway. How many more times am I going to say that? Anyway. Tree stump. If appears someone has dug a hole beneath the stump, leading to a tiny and filthy cave of sorts. Obviously, the hermit sleeps in there. There seems to be a small cubby hole within the body of the trunk itself. It is filled with mud, twigs, and other debris. Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out. Um. Reach into the cubby hole. You put your hand to the. You feel something and grab onto it. You seal something around, but you rank the prize out too quickly for you to touch for it to touch you. You're a robber, is what you are. They sent you, didn't they? Well, I'll show you. They won't get away with this. Oh my! Oh, you're a demon person, so it's all right. You obtain the Grand Oaks Lost Oakum from the tree stump near the Mad Hermit who lives in the forest. What did I get? Was it just the acorn? Great spirit bomb. Root, root, root. Defender shield. Topaz. Silver chalice. Well, that all. Where's the acorn? There it is. Did I get the book as well, or...? I don't think so. That's alright, I think if we kill him we get it. Did you just attack your own people? New codex, shattering. Oh yeah, because that's a combined attack. A creature frozen or petrified by magic as from the spells pure petrify or cone of cold is invulnerable is in a vulnerable state subject to shattering if excessive force is applied to the right spot. A critical hit from ma any weapon may suffice and the spells stone fist and crush in prison have been known to achieve the effect as well. That's one out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've only managed to find out another one which is where you combine oil and fire. That's the only other one I've managed to find. Alright, do you have the book? No, but you have some nice rings. Dream Sever. Two magic, spirit resistance. Emerald ring, it's just a ring. We've got staff here, so let's see if we can give it to win. Oh, she needs a lot of magic. That's actually pretty cool. Chance to stun. Can we go into the stump again? There's nothing in the trunk that appears worthy of a time. Okay, then I guess we don't need the book. I don't actually know if I got it or not. It's doesn't actually tell me. 
No. I'm here for you. Yeah, well, I didn't need you. But what do you think of this place? People have always spoken of dark and mysterious woods haunted by beings unseen. The Brazilian forest is one such forest. They say the veil is thin here, and spirits from the fade pass over, drifting through the trees and giving them an unnatural and sinister intelligence. It is said that if you feel you are being watched in the Brazilian forest, you are. Oh, that's very interesting. I'm right. actually yawning. I'm not actually trying to say that she was boring. She was, but she wasn't that boring. Oh, hey, trees, you're going to come to life? Yeah, I know. You never focus on the little guy. That's how I can sneak in my attacks. Win! You leveled up! You are stronger! Faster! Better! I'm Batman! Get that wild silver. Put him down. Great. Now let's look at this skeleton. What have you got for me? Mythal's Blessing. Or Mythal's. Ah, it's a codex. Woo. Uh, we'll go this way. Because we need to head back to the tree, give him the acorn, and Bob's your uncle. Something. And, oh yeah, wind level up. Magic. Ah. Arcane Mad's Mastery. The mage has gained a keen familiarity, bleh, familiarity with the arcane arts, gravitating a permanent spell bonus, or per permanent bonus to spell power. There we go. God, I can't talk today. Right, um, put it in dexterity, and then uh, one in cunning. Survival. Because we need that. The character can detect nearby creatures up of up to two levels higher than the character's own level, revealing the subtype of creatures and its level. This skill also grants a small bonus to nature resistance. Cool. This is kind of needed if you want to do that holler thing, I think. So, meh. There we go. Device mastery. Woo. The rogue collapses an enemy's feet, making them lose interest and seek other targets. Well, I don't really want that. Make stealth better. Even though I don't use it, make it better. What kind of noise was that? Not all spirits of the Fade are evil things. Some are beings of compassion, fortitude, and justice. They have little interest in crossing the veil unless summoned, however, and thus are far less. Okay, then I won't read it. I forgot about this gravestone. Why are you sparkling? Da 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 da. Disturb the tombstone. Watch for the demon. Watch for the demon. Watch for the night. Use the night stick on them, or you'll die. Mage, get him. Back attacks can be a bitch. You can't hit me. I'm too fast for you. This battle is so riveting. Literally, I was just basically whacking him with my sword until he went down. Right. Juggernaut helmet. My inventory is full. Why? Why must you do this to me? 